we're here at Wohink Lake early morning. Uh, pretty super nice out here, so we're gonna give this Bayliner uh, a test run and uh, go from there. So this is a 2019 Bayliner 160, as you've seen in the title of this video, but it's got a Mercury 90 horse on the back here. You can see that running good. And then we'll get a we'll get a video of the layout of the boat once we're done. This is just the test video. So we'll go over our gauges here real quick. We've got a miles per hour gauge, your volt gauge, fuel, and RPM. Build switch works. You can hear that kick on navigation and anchor lights. And then got a horn and the ignition right here. No feedback steering right here. Super easy to control this boat. Um, We'll start off a video on it here. Shifter on the side right here. Trim. Go up into forward here. It's just glass out here. Here a little more pet. Just about 3,000 RPMs right here. Bows lifted up. Starting to get into some wakeboarding uh, area. Put it up a little more. Starting to go on plane. 3,500 RPMs right there. 20 miles an hour. That's 4,000 RPMs, almost hitting 30. Now we're gonna give her the rest of the beans. That's full throttle. 40 miles an hour. 5,500 RPMs. It's just glass out here. 40, 40, almost 45. We'll back it off. Wow, look out here. It's just glass. Just glass. This boat moves. We just got 43 miles an hour off of that. I mean, it helps that it's just so nice out here. Hit some waves here. It's a light boat, so I expected that, that Mercury to push it pretty good. That's moving. It's got good pet. Wow, it's just so nice. Might have to cut this video short and go play around and get our wetsuits on. All right, reverse here. Reverse works good. All right, we're gonna give her a whole shot right here. And we'll, we'll get this, these, some of these videos on the drone here too. So you can see what it looks like from there. All right, so we're not really moving into gear, and we're gonna full throttle out of here. There's 20, 30, 40. That's full speed right there. Nice and easy, turning. Yeah, she moves. We'll get some, uh, let's test how well she maneuvers. Let's 
going into some wakes here. controlling this. Yeah, pretty nice setup. Trimmed all the way down on that, so. Uh, that's a good test video. We're gonna get some drone footage and then uh, we'll go on land, get a walkthrough video. All right, we just got done with the water run on this uh, 2019 Bayliner 160 uh, bow rider. So we're going to go over the condition walkthrough and uh, for the rest of the features on it. So start up in the front, it's got four flat plug, two inch ball, swing away tongue. So it gives you about a foot, almost two feet um, of extra storage. You got your winch up front. You got a, a big wheel on the jack, on the swing away jack, which is really nice. Navigation lights up here. These buttons are for all the cover, which it does come with a full boat cover. That's just really nice. Um, you will see across this side of the boat, previous owner had scuffed it up and painted it over with a different type of blue paint. Uh, so there's all that you'll see. It's a different color. Uh, I don't know how easy it would be to replace or to fix this, buff it off or whatever. Uh, we didn't attempt to do any of that, but it's pretty much all through this side. As you'll kind of see, it's way easier to see in the light, um, but we just want to disclose that it has those things. Um, also, on the trailer, they wired it on the outside, so none of the marker lights work, but the rear brake lights do work. But they wired it on the outside, which I guess is kind of a bonus because trailer, brake, trailer lights always go out, so having an easy access to wire can get it done, but just want to say that that's what all of these are for. They did all that. Benny at the shop could rewire it the right way if you wanted that too. Um, got the front load side guides, so it's easy to put this thing where it's supposed to go. We got cleats right here. A little some dock rash on this side too. Scratches right there. Take a look on this side. Bottom side of the boat looks pretty good. Just some dirt and stuff that's easily scrubbed off. But I don't see any big scrapes or big marks that way. So, looks good there. Side marker lights. Um, got rod holders right here. More for the cover. These buttons for the cover. I believe this does come with a bimini top as well. So, that's just not in the video. Uh, tires are good. It's on a galvanized trailer, so that's good. Um, got a Panther. A uh, motor bracket for a trolling motor back here. This could be taken off and used as deck space or whatever, but it has that so you could put a trolling motor on this um, to use as a pretty versatile boat. Um, got the Mercury 90 horsepower. Push this boat 43 miles an hour according to the gauge up there and it's moving so that's pretty nice to, I mean pretty cool going that. Got a ladder, pull down ladder right here. It did have a, a transducer mounted here. So that's where the, these are where the screws are in the uh, holes right there. So fill those in with silicone or just add a transducer up to it, uh, fish finder up to it. I'll get that down. Cleats on the back, side guide. That's where your bilge pump goes. Anchor light right here. And going through this side, I did notice some scratches right here. And then this side looks pretty clean all throughout. Some little chips in the vinyl and some more scratchies. But overall, not much on this side. Uh, let's hop in the boat and All right, 
Simple little setup in this boat. You got a bench seat back here. About three people could sit back here. Underneath here, you'll see there's your battery switch and your battery back there. And I guess you could put some stuff back there for some storage. It's got little ledges that you put stuff on. Okay, right here is a ski tower uh, mount. So it's got this pole right here on the back. You just mount it up right there so you can tow tubes and stuff like that. Um, two speakers in here with a Jensen audio system. Controls right there. It's got Bluetooth, all that. Got a, a glove box up there. Audio inputs right there. Fire extinguisher. Swivel seats on both of these. Got rod holders mounted there. Some cup holders. This is carpet floor. Everything feels solid on it. Ignition uh, and all your gauges right here. You can see the holes right there is where they mounted a fish finder. It's got five person capacity on this. Up here, just some more seating, and there is storage under each seat. And a flip through windshield. Just lock it in right there. So, pretty simple, easy to use boat, really simple and easy. Um, make a great boat, great price. Having an outboard is a big plus because a lot of these in, come with an inboard, so it's nice having an outboard. Plus, outboards are easy to service, and that thing moves this boat pretty fast. So, great little setup boat. Come check it out here at Breen Marine, and uh, let's make you a boat.